there's basic DNA in every thriller. And it doesn't matter if it's the spy thriller or the medical thriller or the domestic thriller or the procedural. And by the way, just to amuse you, this giant list is all the different kinds of thrillers that I sort of gathered. The mob thriller, apocalypse disaster thriller, sci-fi thriller. I mean, there's a million kinds. They all have the same DNA. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. All thrillers are basically a detective story combined with a horror story. And the reason it's a horror story, I'm not talking about the blood and the guts and the guy with the knife. I'm talking about it's their worst nightmare that they are now getting into. So it's usually some sort of mystery combined with it being your worst nightmare, which is totally different than just a straight up mystery where I need to figure out why that guy died. That is not your worst nightmare. That's your job. You're a cop. But when you find out that the guy who died and then, or therefore, is going to then cause 95 other people to die, that's your worst nightmare. Now we're into a thriller. But the one thing, in addition to being a detective story with your worst nightmare, the one thing that they all have is a fascinating central mystery. Whatever happens in that first opening 10 minutes will make you, as a viewer, ask a thousand questions. And then for the rest of the movie, you'll slowly get the answers to all of those. So what we refer to in our office is the play along factor is unbelievably high. Now the trick to a thriller, again, because it's this nightmare, there's a plotting challenge that everybody who gets into the thriller business has to reconcile, which is, again, as we talked yesterday with Eight Steps and with any good, compelling character who has a goal and a plan and an action that they're going through, in thrillers, they're doing two at once. And that's what's hard, which is they're trying to stay alive and they're trying to solve the mystery. The really good thrillers, the ones that have stood the test of time, the Hitchcocks, the really classy ones, not the good old-fashioned sort of like B programmers, but the good ones, the lead character also has a really personal thing that they're going to work out during all of this. So now we've got to stay alive. We've got to solve the mystery, you know, uncover the bad guy, reveal whatever they're up to, and work out your own bullshit. It's a lot of stuff to do. Transformation still has to happen. Transformation still has to happen in the really good ones. And even in the more high-end, high sort of super commercial pulpy ones, there's a little bit of a transformation, just enough to make you feel satisfied as an audience member.